Today I will be discussing an article by Dr. Mark Hyman, one of the pioneers in functional medicine. For those who don't know, Dr. Hyman has become a leading voice in health and wellness with his focus on nutrition and longevity. He's passionate about understanding the root causes of health issues, and his insights have inspired millions of people to take control of their health and their wellness. He's also one of my mentors, as he's one of the lead teachers at the Institute of Functional Medicine, where I train. So in this article that I actually read on Dr. Hyman's LinkedIn profile, he explores the protein leverage hypothesis, a concept that might explain why so many of us tend to overeat. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Maria Zizian, a board-certified general surgeon and IFM-certified functional medicine physician. So what is a protein leverage hypothesis? Imagine your body is like a finely tuned machine designed to get a specific percentage of protein in every meal. The hypothesis suggests that if we fall short of this protein target, our bodies drive us to keep eating until we meet it. So let's break this down a little bit more. So researchers from the University of Sydney found that even a small drop in protein percentage could lead people to eat significantly more calories. This is called protein leverage, and it's all about our bodies prioritizing protein over fats and carbs. So if your diet doesn't hit the protein mark, you might be unknowingly compensating by eating more of everything else. In today's world, the fast food and snacks are very prevalent. So we see something that's called protein dilution. Ultra-processed foods tend to be high in fats and carbs, but low in protein, which drops the percentage of protein in each bite. And when our body senses this protein dilution, it doesn't give up. It ramps up the hunger signal to make up the difference, leading to excess calorie intake. Dr. Hyman highlights a powerful example from an NIH study where participants were allowed to eat as much or as little as they wanted on two different diets. One was based on whole foods and the other one was based on ultra-processed foods. And even though both diets had the same protein levels, People on the ultra-processed food diet ate extra 500 calories per day. Their body sensed the lower protein percentage and responded with extra hunger. So what are the key takeaways for a healthier diet? But before we move on, if you're enjoying this video, so please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos on similar fascinating medical topics. So let's go over the key takeaways from this article. So from the standpoint of how can you use this information to your advantage? First of all, aim for a practical protein target. So aim to get at least 15 to 20% of your daily calories from protein, especially if whole nutrient-dense foods make up most of your diet. That helps keep your appetite in check and supports your nutritional needs. You can aim higher if you're looking to build muscle, but that 15 to 20% range is a great starting point. The next point is this. Processed foods complicate things. Ultra-processed foods often have the pro protein diluted by fats and carbs, which can trigger the hunger response. By focusing on whole unprocessed foods, you're more likely to hit the ideal protein percentage naturally, keeping your hunger and your calorie intake in check. The next one is fiber and water are helpful exceptions. Foods high in fiber or water can add volume without spiking calories. So even if you're eating slightly lower protein percentage, fiber can help regulate your appetite and keep you full, especially with plant-based diet. Next one, nutrition is complex. While protein leverage can explain some of the aspects of overeating, it's of course not the full picture. There's so many factors at play, like stress, emotions, lifestyle habits, uh, and other influences of how and why we eat and overeat. So the key takeaway, every small step towards a balanced, nutrient-rich, healthy eating is a win for your health. So if you found this video helpful, so please let me know in your comments. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching. 
Stay healthy and stay informed. Until next time. Bye-bye.